been forever since I've seen the entire story. Welcome back one and all, this is Artman Advanced, and I'm here to bring you a little gem from my childhood, Mega Man Extreme. It is, it is vastly inferior to the Super Nintendo port, but hey, this was Mega Man on the go. I, I will spare you the rest of the story for now, and just show you the entire game on extreme mode, where as it is Revealed to you at the end of hard mode, this mode is strictly for combat. With that out of the way, let us begin. I do plan on bringing you the rest of the uh, X series proper after I eventually complete the classic series. I know my work's good, my uh. Upload schedule is just impeccable, isn't it? Well, after I've uh, I've recently changed jobs, so right now I'm using the downtime between them to try to get some things done, get my life back in order. And so I thought, what better way to start the road to rehabilitation than by just playing something for me, something familiar. Those robots. You didn't see it because it happened off screen, but if they run into you, they will laugh at you and then repeat their attack process over again. If I had to have any major gripes about this game, the charge sound effect and. The charge sound effect would have to be the. Uh, biggest complaint I have.
But now we come to the biggest gimmick of this game. It is actually a combination of elements from the X1 and X2 games. Kinda blew my mind as a kid. Cause ever since Mega Man 3, I've been a huge Mega Maniac. And the simplicity these games offer make them very accessible. And for what the Game Boy Color has to work with, these are pretty faithful recreations of the, uh, of the themes of the game of, of their predecessors. I do plan on 100%ing this game, uh, due to the virtue that it isn't really a complicated game with a lot in it. Basically, I just have to get 8 heart containers to increase my max life, 4 sub tanks, and 4 moves that they've introduced for this game called Zero Moves. Hoping something like that wouldn't happen, but he got me into a corner.
He's down. <laughs> Tell the truth, that was the first time I ever thought to dash jump over the ice statues he made. showing ever. the troubling part. these <laughs> they're not so generous with their health pickups like a lot of other games are I don't know if you caught that, but there's actually a section here that I can break once I have the head parts. At least the checkpoints are well defined.
Now here's where I actually get to talk about something. They did something interesting with the programming of this game. You know how Gerard coined the phrase Spark Mandrel Syndrome? They actually thought ahead and balanced it out in this game. up this first episode of Mega Man Extreme. Tune in for more uh, later. This has been Art Man Advance, and I will see you next time. <laughs>